No, I leave the sardines. No, I take the sardines. You leave the sardines and you hang up the phone. Yes, right. I hang up the phone. And you leave the sardines. I leave the sardines. You leave the sardines. I hang up the phone and I leave the sardines. Right. <laughs> We've changed that, have we, dear? No, dear. That's what I've always been doing? I wouldn't say that, Dotty, my precious. But there you are, holding the receiver. So there I am, holding the receiver. I hang it up, I leave the sardines. Always the same story, isn't it? And you take the newspaper. I take the newspaper, I leave the sardines. Always the same story, isn't it? It's a weight off your mind, it's a load off your stomach, and off I go at last. Leaving the receiver. Oh, We've got the place entirely to ourselves. Look at it. Hold it! And God said, hold it! And they held it, and God saw that it was terrible. Sorry, folks, the door won't open. Sorry, folks, this door won't close. And God said, pop it! And God said, where the hell is Tim? And there the hell was Tim. And God said, let there be doors that open when they open and close when they close. Do something? Doors. I was getting the bananas for the sardines. Doors. Doors. I bet God had a stage manager who understood English, too. Tim. Bang, bang, bang. Ah! Bang, you're on. Bang, you said it. Bang, you're off. And everything will be perfectly... Oh! Where's Sal's... All right. I'll give you a reason. You carry those groceries into the study, Freddie, honey. Because it's just slightly after midnight. And we're not going to be finished before we open tomorrow night. Correction. Before we open tonight! Selsden? You're on, Selsden. We're there. The moment's arrived. It's all right, Lloyd. He's coming. He's coming. There should be an arm coming through the window even before Fred is off. Ah. Here it comes. Hey, Boris. Get back in the alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. All right, Selsden, hold it. Let's take and it again. It makes him want to sit down and weep. Hold well, it, I think Selsden, I used to do bad. hold it. And I know it. they're all in pain because the old turkey in the kitchen told me no, so. No, he wants you to hold it. And I'm... Stop, Selsden, darling! Oh, Afraid of you! Like the band playing on as the Titanic sank. I'm sorry, Lloyd. I still have my trousers down around my ankles. It's just really hard doing a quick change without a dresser. Get Tim to help you. Tim, where's Tim? Tim, come on, Tim. Tim! What? Oh, yes, you're acting. I must have dozed off down there. Never mind, Tim. Do something? No, let it pass. We'll just travel through on our own. Tim has to sleep behind the sofa while all the rest of us run around with our trousers around our ankles. Right. That's the line, Brooklove. We know you've worked over in London in some very classy places where they let you make the play up as you go along. But we don't want that kind of thing here, love. Not when the author has provided us with such a considered and polished line of his own. Not at one o'clock in the morning. Not two lines away from the end of Act One. Not when we're just about to get a coffee break before we all drop dead from exhaustion. We merely want to hear the line, What's that, Dad? That's all. Nothing else! I'm not being unreasonable, am I? Exit. Does it say exit? Can we just have the last line of the act? Me, last line. Right. Uh, <clears throat> well, I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned plate of uh, sardines. And... Curtain! Oh, 